Hey, Lauren here with Subly. Today we're gonna to learn how to create a new timestamp. A timestamp is basically a marker or a pinpoint in your transcript that shows when a subtitle should start and when it should finish. So each paragraph of text in your transcript will have this timestamp that shows when the subtitle will appear and when it will disappear. If you're interested in how to create a new timestamp in Subly, then please keep watching and we're gonna get started right now. Head over to your browser and type in www.getsubly.com. So as you can see, I'm now on my dashboard and the video we're gonna edit today is timestamps. So let me go across and click edit on timestamps. As you can see, over here is your transcription area. It's very, very, very useful in terms of adding time codes and deleting them. So this is gonna be the only element you need for this feature. What you're gonna do is you're gonna find a place in your text that you wanted to add a new timestamp, i.e. new subtitle, and just click where you want it to start. So click at the end of any sentence that you want it to come after. And then just hit enter. And there you are, a new timestamp is built right here. You can then type in what that subtitle is going to say. I'm just going to put, this is a subtitle. <laughs> Oops, my bad. And then I'm just going to click off of it and that's it. That's all you need to do. Now, if you click on it again, it should come up in the preview screen right here. So you can just double check that you're happy with that subtitle. Uh, you can also adjust the timings for it. So if you wanted it to, to finish, just before the next one, you can go up here, click into it and go to 56 and do 43. And then click off again. And don't worry about clicking off, all changes will be saved. As you can see up here, Subly actually automatically saves every change that you make. So you never need to worry about losing anything. So, the only time it can get tricky with timestamps and adding them is if you go to one where there's no space for a timestamp. So say up here you've got 750 end and then 750 start, but you want to get a timestamp in between these two, you won't be able to. I'll show you an example just so you can see for your own eyes. You hit enter and it will come up with a message to say not enough time in between subtitles. So to fix this, what you can do is you can go into this time of the next one and just change it, make it a little bit later, make it start later. So let's just put it to nine. And now I'm gonna go after edited and I'm gonna click enter. And as you can see, there is now room for a subtitle. So again, I'm just gonna call this, this is a subtitle two. And you can see what this looks like in your preview screen as it works exactly the same time. So if I just add some more text, this, is it goes exactly at the same time, which is really, really cool. Um, to delete a timestamp, very, very easy and probably obvious right now, as you can see a little trash can right here. <laughs> you just need to hover over whatever subtitle or whatever time code that you wanna get rid of. And all you need to do is just literally click that bin icon and it gets rid of it. And that's pretty much it with timestamps. It's really, really straightforward. Just gotta watch out for the timings and make sure there's space for the subtitle you wanna enter. I hope this has been useful for you guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe as we'll have new videos coming out each week. You can also follow us on socials. 